Worry is contagious. Boy, is that ever true. I saw the Napoleon Hill's thought for the day today. And if you do not get Napoleon Hill's thought for the day, I would encourage you to do so. It's a good thought every day worth listening to. And here's what it said. If you don't believe in it yourself, don't ask anyone else to do so. It is virtually impossible not to transmit your doubts and insecurities to others through body language, tone of voice, inflection, word choice, and other subtle characteristics. When you show by your actions that you lack self-confidence, other people also begin to doubt your ability to perform. You can gain the respect and confidence of others. Begin by making a list of all the things you like about yourself and the things you would like to change. Make a conscious effort to build upon your positive strengths and correct your weaknesses. It may not be easy, but if you assess yourself objectively and persevere in your efforts, you will eventually prevail. It's amazing how many times I talk with a mentee and they say, well, what if the bank doesn't say yes? And what if the bank asks me for this? And what if they ask me for that? And I could go back and talk to my board, but what if they thought I was stupid? Or on and on and on with those. And those are all worries. And it's amazing when you have confidence or when you do not have confidence, the difference in between the results that you get. It was interesting. I had a meeting over the weekend where one of the mentees said, in the beginning, I was very nervous. I was afraid to say no to somebody. I was afraid to push for what I wanted. And the more that I did that and the more confident that I became, the better my results were. When you expect bad things to happen, you transmit that. You do, in fact, get people on the other side uh, who lack the confidence that you're going to succeed. So while it may take, take some work, work on your confidence. Speak confidently. Expect that it will happen. A lot of people say, well, what if this happens and what if that happens? Well, what if it doesn't happen? And 95% of the time, what you think and worry about doesn't, in fact, happen. Think about the things you worried about in the past and how many of those really came to be true. Most of the time, the answer is not many. So if you are getting my emails, great. If not, just go to my website and grab a free class there, uh, go.brucewhipple.com forward slash free class if you want the direct link. And again, podcasts like what you're listening to now and also the weekly video can be helpful. I make each one of them. I believe, actionable, so that you can take a lesson from it and actually put it into action. So that is the lesson for today. Consciously think about what you need to do to maintain your confidence. Act as if you have no limits on your ability and act as if the answer is going to be yes. And more times than not, you'll find that in the end, it is.